Alright guys, welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So I finally figured out how the biomes actually work for 1.18 and up. So basically there is a little bit of a difference on how things are actually done uh, compared to the older system. The older system it was more or less just uh, change the settings as you want. Um, however, in this case uh, the, the biome settings are actually a lot uh, dependent on the generation of the system. Now, basically what happens is when the values are too close together for the grouping, it will try to compete with the same area and only one biome will take priority. Uh, this is why you can see this actually is working here. It's not using the same values. We're actually separating the values by a little bit just to kind of give it a value that's a little bit different. So we're getting a whole bunch of different biomes mixed in with each other uh, like this basically. And uh, you can change the biome size through the weight, which we'll cover in a little bit. But basically um, what that does is if you want the biomes a little bit smaller, in some cases you might want them smaller because they might... If you don't have a lot of biomes then it's going to pretty much be like this huge conglomerate uh, system of a uh, single biome basically like as you can see here so it's just pretty much endless for the amount but when you do get to like little parts like that you will come across like certain parts that are actually for separate biomes and stuff like that but they are a little bit rare based on the thing that's just because there isn't a lot of biomes and the settings are pretty similar so depending on how diverse you want your biomes and stuff like that obviously we could probably have made the terrain a little bit different on that and it could have gotten a, a little bit of higher scope for the actual generation but as you can see it's pretty consistent through most of this of this one biome until we get to wherever we were before and then it kind of switched into its own kind of biome system which was a couple different biomes so let's see if we can find that again but um, yeah it should be just over here somewhere but basically um, the grouping is the bottom four values where the top or the the weight is basically going to control the size now you could shrink the size um, value down so it's not um, as big so you could basically make them more splotchy uh, very similar to how this section is and it should help with that but um, I haven't tried that so but it should help it, it'll just make the biomes a little bit more rare but if they're the same rarity then it will be pretty common so you'll just have to kind of play around with the weight and stuff like that after you get what you want for your biomes but 10 is generally what Minecraft uses um, any smaller number you might need for different values and stuff like that but generally this is what it looks like all right so let's go into M Crater and then we'll kind of take a look at the settings all right so I have a dimension uh, this is just uh, for testing purposes I have all four biomes listed in here just stone this isn't really required but um, basically this is just all the default settings and stuff like that I have just set up for the dimension It's just basically to load the the biomes and stuff in and then we have our four biomes here which are basically just configured for um, different colors so we could actually see the generation and stuff like that so this one's purple um, the blue one is kind of like a cyan I think we saw that one in there and then we have the orange one which is kind of like a the C dimension and then we also have a D dimension which was kind of like a darker one which is darker cyan or something like that I don't know which one we saw before but uh, most likely it was these three right here all right so if we go to the a one the purple one uh, if we go to biome generation then we have some options here generate and over generate biome and overworld generate biome in overworld caves so we can generate in them caves instead uh, generate biome in nether so those are three options there I have all these disabled for the custom world because uh, it doesn't really need to be set up that way uh, the biome weight uh, if we go to the minecraft wiki or m creator wiki pardon me 
Uh, you can see that it controls the size of the biome. I've updated all this for the references and stuff from my testing. So basically it, the weight controls the size and the rarity of the thing. Uh, lower value or larger values will make the biome larger and more common. Smaller values will make the biome smaller and less common. The default size is 10 uh, for Minecraft, far as I can tell. So you would want to kind of keep it around that if you're adding it to the overworld or other dimensions. And in most cases, you won't need to actually change this value. So basically, this is the only thing that isn't a group value. Uh, this just controls the overall size and rarity of the biome itself. Uh, if the biome is all the same rarity in the dimension though, it should just make the biome smaller. Um, this will basically play effect if you were wanting smaller biomes in your own group. Uh, overworld though, there's already a set default value for all the biomes, so you might have to keep it around 10, which will vary depending on how rare it actually is. Alright, so with that being said, your base height, your height variation, your temperature, and your raining probability are all group values. So basically what this means is when the game tries to find a spot for the biome, what it's going to do is it's going to take all these different settings into consideration. And basically what will happen is it will try to find things that are similar but different and place them next to the biomes that are already generated. So for example, if you have a desert biome and it might try to find something with similar temperature, uh, maybe something like a savanna biome or a mesa biome, then it will kind of put that in the cluster around each other. Height variation, it will also try to find the similar height variation in certain aspects. Uh, the base height, so if it, the terrain is really high, then it will try to find a high spot for existing train around. Maybe it'll try to find something that will also kind of bring it down into the um, actual uh, global height. So if there's a lower level that generates near it, then it might try to find something in between the, the two difference of the heights. And the raining probability uh, will also vary depending on if it's... Um, a biome that has higher rating probability or if it's something like a desert where it might not have as high of uh, raining chance uh, for generating rain. Uh, there are some extra values that are worth mentioning here. Uh, the biome base height. So basically higher values will overall change the lift of how where the starting point is where the height variation will kind of make it more bumpy and um, depending on more like uneven or flat where the base height will actually just lift or lower the terrain completely. Um, lower values under the lower values will obviously lower it but also negative values will make it basically an ocean so it'll fill it in with the dimensions uh, water um, water uh, block that you've selected so basically if it's water for your dimension then it will basically try to replace the lakes and stuff like that from where your biome goes under the sea level with ocean or that water filled fluid uh, these values though should always be different uh, they should have be something unique where they will not always be the same even if it's just updating the a couple of them like the height base and height variation this should be enough to make it a little bit different raining possibility and temperature should probably be able to get away with uh, leaving it as a similar value but uh, at least try to change these in such a way that it will not be the same value as something else already in your mod because if it is then it will kind of have conflict all right so then we have uh, the temperature which is basically if you want it to snow then any value under 0 0.15 will make it snow rather than rain uh, this, of course, will vary depending if the biome rains or not, or if the world is already raining. Um, values between 0 0.15 and 1.5, so exactly these values. So this one would be 
0.14 would be the actual starting value for snowing. And then you have the 1 point or 0 0.15 and 1.5 is basically when it's going to generate rain particles instead. Anything over 1.5 is going to not do any particles. It will still kind of rain like how deserts rain. It just kind of gets kind of cloudy and it will rain, but it's not actually raining in the biome. So it will just turn off particles basically. So that's basically what the those little values are. Uh, the other thing that I should mention is raining probability. It's just basically higher values will make it rain more where lower values will um, make it rain less. So if you want to disable it like deserts or whatever, you could bring it to a really low level. So now that we have that kind of understanding, we can kind of take a look at these settings here. So we have our base height. I've set this to 10. Again, if you wanted to make it more rare, you could set the number lower, uh, but 10 is the default value. So I thought I would give it a try with the actual dimension and you could probably lower it if you only have a few biomes of that particular dimension at a time. Uh, biome height is pretty much the default values for all of these. I don't think there's too much of a difference. Um, 0 0.5 for raining probability, 0 0.5 for temperature. Uh, the base height variation is 0 0.2. The biome base height is 0 0.1. So those are all those, the biome A ones, which are pretty sure those are the default values. So if we switch over to the biome B and go to generation, we can see that the only changes that I've done between biome A and biome B is the base height. This is now 0 0.2 from 0 0.1. And the biome height variation is 0 0.4 from 0 0.2. All right, so let's take a look at another value. Uh, we will be taking a look at C now. We'll just have to change the generation to this one. So the biome generation, we'll compare B and C together. So uh, the only difference with this one are three values, um, as far as I can tell. Oh, actually, biome B also has a value changed with raining probability. So this increased to 0 0.6. So it was basically just these three values. So the default one was 0 0.5. So it's basically increased by one. So the biome B is going to change the top three values, which are the biome height, biome variation, and biome or biome temperature. So uh, biome B, was 0 0.2 for base height and the base height for C is 0 0.4. The height variation for biome B is basically 0 0.4 and the height variation for C is 0 0.6. So you can kind of see the difference with the height itself. Um, and then we have the temperature, which is from 0 0.5 to 0 0.7. And then finally, we have our D class biome, which is a little bit different. Also, you might be noticing that all the height variations are the same, or the part of me, the weights are all the same. So basically, the height for this A, B and C and D are all 10. So that's, I basically kept it consistent throughout the biome and stuff like that. If you want to make it a little bit less and you can make it more rare by decreasing this value, but it will also shrink your biome size as well. So keep that in mind. Um, as D is considered, we have a couple different values. Uh, biome base height for D is or C is basically 0 0.4 and that's basically changed to 0 0.3 and now there is actually no difference in or no value the same in for the weight itself so or the height the base height so there's biome 1 which is 0 0.1 there is 0 0.2 for B 0 0.4 for C and 0 0.3 for D. So those are all different. That's going to help with the grouping. 
so it's not the same values. Um, let's see here, six. So the only diff, the only thing that's the same for between the height vary or height variation is biome C and biome D. So both of these are 0 0.6 and every other biome is different. So basically height variation for 0. Point, or for A and B. So A is 0 0.2, B is 0 0.4 and C and D are 0 0.6. Uh, the temperature is going to fluctuate quite a difference. So the first two biomes, uh, A and B, are 0 0.5, and then the other two biomes, uh, C is 0 0.7, and the biome D is 0 0.6. Raining probability is also very different across all three of these, uh, well, most of them. Um, the B and C are the same, where the a and D are different. So A is basically 0 0.5, B and C are 0 0.6, and D is 0 0.7. So hopefully you can kind of see the difference in the values a little bit. Um, I'll probably pop up something, some chart on the screen right now, just kind of showing you the difference between the three biomes so you guys can kind of see how things basically work with the changes and stuff like that. Um, so you can kind of compare and figure out that. But uh, this is actually the most stable way of getting the biomes to generate. And generally, you just want to keep these values different in the sense that they will generate at different parts in the thing. Um, I've noticed that height variation and the height height base height actually have a really high importance for actually generating so maybe make sure that these values are different based on what your biome especially if there are smaller biomes like uh biomes that are not as common uh you generally don't even need to r change the value that much just a simple one notch for on the arrow will make a huge difference so you don't really have to play around with like huge differences like from zero point one to 0 0.5 or anything like that that might actually impact the spawning ratio if it's uh, too different so try to keep the the values pretty similar so hopefully that helps you guys with creating your biomes i will make sure to uh, link to the wiki page so you guys can kind of check out the wiki page itself and see the settings that i basically updated on the uh, example and then hopefully you guys can get a better idea of how the 1.18 biomes actually work but uh, trial and error is going to happen and you're going to have to kind of play around to see whatever what, what kind of biomes actually need to be adjusted some might not spawn if they're using similar values it's really easy to get lost in this the biome settings and stuff like that to actually use similar ones and then it might just make it a little bit more rare or just not spawn if it's the exact same value. So maybe use Google Documents or uh, even a text document uh, for keeping track of what your biome settings are, even planning ahead for what your settings will be for each biome that you want to add might be a very good idea in that case. So you can kind of keep it uh, unique for each biome. But outside of that, that's all the time that I have for today. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.